Good morning, everyone. Hello. Welcome to Tuesday morning. Welcome to Coffee with the Pastor as well. It's great to see you today. Thanks for checking in. And you know, checking in on someone, whether it's a hurricane or a winter blizzard or a heat wave, that's important. We're told to check in on the elderly, the homebound, uh, or just folks that you're concerned about as they are having to endure some things. You check in with them, make sure they're okay, they have need of nothing. Uh, and if so, you try to do your best to take care of them and give them whatever it is that they that they need. That's checking in on someone. That's checking on someone. That's showing them that you care. And also, what it does as well, it takes the focus off you and puts it on somebody else. And so sometimes it's good to check on other people and it makes you feel better even about yourself and your current situation. Sometimes by checking in on someone, we realize that our situation is not as bad. We're checking in on someone that's actually going through a more traumatic event or a trial or a storm than than we are. And so it helps us to be grateful and, and appreciate what we do have. And again, it shows that we're not selfish when we check on someone, we check in on someone, we see how they're doing. Uh, again, we all have stuff going on. And I think though it's important of all the people to check in with every day on a regular basis, it's important that you and I check in on God. Now look, I know, you know, God's doing just fine. Um, but at the same time, it's important for us to humble ourselves and check in with God. No, God don't need checking on, but we need to check in with him and be accountable and hear his voice and just check into his presence. Because in his presence, there's strength, there's freedom, there's fullness of joy. And uh, it's important that we check in with God on a regular basis. Now, uh, Adam and Eve in the garden, remember that? They sinned, they messed up, and they, so they went and hid instead of checking in with God because God would come down the cool of the day in the book of Genesis, it talks about this, and he would walk with Adam and even talk with them. But when they messed up in the garden, when they sinned, they actually went and hid. They said, whoa, we don't want to check in today because uh, we're kind of embarrassed. If you're embarrassed today, if you have sinned, if you have messed up, or if it's been a while since you checked in with God, I encourage you today to take the time and check in with God. You'll find that today he has been waiting for you and he wants to hear from you. He wants to hear your voice. And you know what? Checking in actually is for your betterment. It helps you. It directs you. It, it gives you that safety net of protection. It uh, ensures that if you keep checking in with God, he will lead you and guide you and direct you. But if you ignore God and hide from God, um, it's kind of hard for all the fullness of what's available to you uh, to be embraced by yourself because you're refraining from God. You're pulling back from God. Listen, if you're embarrassed today or you're discouraged today or you're just aggravated today and maybe even aggravated at God, I still encourage you to check in with Jesus. Just check in with him. Talk to him. Uh, he is that friend that you can talk to. Uh, just have a conversation with God. It don't have to be three hours in length. You just check in with him. Uh, check in, uh, pray, and then, then read the word of God. Just check in with God. And, and if you'll make a good habit, and if you'll make that a habit every single day of checking in with God, your life is going to be a whole lot better. I guarantee you. Hey, thank you for checking in today on Coffee with the Pastor. I hope you have a great Tuesday. God bless you.